going to talk about, glad you asked, Chris, is, there we go, Ghostbusters 4, or Ghostbusters Afterlife 2, Ghostbusters 4, is that what it's, I, I, I don't know uh, 100% what it's going to be called, I'm pretty sure it's going to be another subtitle uh, type of thing, uh-oh, somebody's, somebody's calling me, let me, let me, uh, let me see, call right back, there we go, sorry about that. I'm curious, they should just, I feel like they should just call it Ghostbusters 4, but since they did the last one that's Afterlife, I feel like it's going to be a little confusion. Is it going to be Ghostbusters Afterlife 2, or is this Ghost, Ghostbusters 4? I mean, it's all in the same universe, it's this all same, same. Uh, I think it's going to, it should be, it's going to be probably called Ghostbusters, I don't know, Cold Front, or something like that. Because look at this poster, look at this, right here. They're, they're doing something, now... From what I remember on the last Ghostbusters um, uh, logo, it was like a foggy mist atmosphere thing that was that was behind it and whatnot, the glow that was behind it, and it was building up this frog. Now this, and there's no indication of what the plot's gonna be about. You saw that in the, I don't know if you saw it, there's, uh, there's some footage that the, they're back in New York, they're going back to the, uh, to the firehouse, and, um, with this, it tells me that a blizzard is coming, a, a, a cold front is coming. Maybe, maybe the the big bad is going to be elemental or iced themed. But if they're if they're going back on this path of like a hell on earth, something that Dan Aykroyd talked about a lot, like bringing Armageddon or a hell on earth kind of a thing. Uh, you know that phrase when hell freezes over. Maybe. Uh, maybe the obviously snow or ice or something with the elements is going to be uh, themed on it unless this is just like a metaphor that their assets have been frozen and you know they're getting sued again by the city after they saved everybody and shit like you know you know how it is with ghostbusters but i enjoyed i know it's not for everybody now i saw somebody on on twitter talking about that ghostbusters is woke of like when it is not have not been woke i mean back in the 80s i mean even having a black dude on the team was probably considered woke back then like when you got a black dude in it i mean but have we not been i, I mean I, it's it, it was ever since that disaster of a reboot with the all girls cast okay it wasn't it, it wasn't good but having the girls on the main team is not new i mean ghostbusters extreme they should have been did that a long time ago i liked ghostbusters extreme so i was excited when we have a balanced cast, you know, a couple of guys, uh, a, a lady in the in the team, and uh, just mix it up. I mean, let's. I mean, I'm, I'm tired of just seeing the same stuff all over and over again. I mean, we can't have Dan Aykroyd and them with pro proton packs on their backs, uh, you know, to the day that they die. I mean, it's crazy. But so mix it up. Why? I mean, why not? Maybe going uh, the whole elsewhere world route with the whole uh, female team. Oh, hey, if it if it worked, it would have worked. But it didn't work, so now it's like, ha-ha, you see, yeah, yeah, go, 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 bro. <laughs> you know how people get. But I, did I even like that? No, I did not like it. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't like it. I, I didn't think that was good at all. But I did like Afterlife. And I'm not ashamed to admit, I, I, look, I've always, ever since I was a kid, I've always liked movies where kids are the heroes, where kids are uh, the explorers. Uh, Goonies, movies like that. Hell, that uh, that animated movie uh, was it Monster House. I love it when kids are like the no the the parents don't believe us. There's something going on, and the kids are the ones figuring it out. And uh and put in the put in the box, put in the comments. What's your favorite movie where the kids come together and so Three Ninjas? You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I love movies uh like that. So. When I saw this poster, I'm excited for it. I, I said, hey, that's, it's a good poster. It's interesting what, what the heck is going on based on what we know. We know very little. We know that they're back in New York, like I said. We know they're back in the firehouse. Okay. So uh, I saw footage of them driving down the street, with the, and uh, I believe one of them was hanging out on the side of the car with the, the car gunner, uh, gun, uh, proton pack gun, whatever. And it, it looked, you know, I, mean, I, I just get a kick out of it when kids are the ones, you know, kicking butt and saving the day. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. What are you guys thinking about it? Do I have the lower thirds working? Let's see if I got it working right now. Sorry about that. 
start from the top what's up everybody uh okay it's working what's up uh is it jedi mike seven now, anybody named jedi i got your back i got your back like a chiropractor you ask my phone right now i say i got it right here if i say hey google what's my name let's see if it works hey google what's my name wait is it working Oh, there we go. And I, pro I'm, I apologize if I'm activating all your stuff. It's muted. If I, I'm about to say it one more time. Hope all you guys that have a Google, I'm sorry about that. But I'm about to do it one more time. Hey, Google, what's my name? Your name is Master Jedi. You guys heard that? Let me turn it up. One more time. Sorry. <laughs> hey, Google, what's my name? Your name is Master Jedi. Yeah, son. <laughs> so anybody with that name, I, I got you. Uh, let's see. I don't want it. LOL. Like, or you don't want another uh, Ghostbusters? Why not? Why not? Uh, that was from Brianna Jasmine. Why not? Tell me, I don't want it. Uh, the last one ended perfectly. I wouldn't say per no, no, no. It did not. The movie was great. It did not end perfectly. The story wrapped up perfectly, but the way they brought back the original cast could have been perfect but it was so i don't know it did not fit the way the rest of the movie was going they were trying to throw in the cheesy jokes it was like they it was especially bill murray he was just phoning in those jokes man it just did not fit with the tone of the whole movie the whole movie like 99 percent of it i loved it but that, when they showed up, it, it could have been written or executed a little bit better. I did not like the way they did it. But I did like the very, very, very end when Winston came in and shows up. It looks like he's going to be the money uh, to be able to fund the return of the Ghostbusters. And it seemed like that's almost also the way it kind of was for the, the, uh, the reboot that they did with the all-girl cast, that, she was, that he was the uncle to uh, just, uh, Leslie Jones. So... So he's coming back as that role, like he's the mentor. Uh, he's going to, and that's and that's cool because I don't feel like they gave Winston a lot of respect in those uh, movies. They always found a way to not put him in the posters and not have him in the main plot, and then call him at the very end to throw him in the ooze. I don't know. I didn't like that. Um, winter is coming. Yeah, the test. Yeah, I see you testing once. We mean testing. I see you. Yeah, yeah. You damn right, Master Jedi. Yeah, that's me. You like it? I love it. But uh, don't be hating on me. <laughs> Talking about Master J. You damn right. You damn right. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next uh, entertainment news. Pete Davidson's <laughs> voice. Um, guys, peace. Hey, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button, like, and comment your thoughts on this topic or any topics that you think that we should talk about in upcoming videos. Also, you can follow us at t 3 Media on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and we also have a T3 Media Studios podcast where we post our movie reviews and episodes of The Rundown. Till next time, guys.